Hello everybody, I'm here for the Hero Game Channel. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and to the Great War Redux mod. Now, just a wee disclaimer before we get started. I am going to cheat my way through the Xinhai Revolution. Mainly because I've lost count of how many attempts I have had at winning it. If I have recorded every single one, I'm sure I could make probably a 10 minute long fail compilation. Um, it's been that tragic. Um, I'll include a couple of the attempts that I did record. There was three, three attempts. I thought I was doing actually okay in the second and third one, but nope, nope. I've tried so many different ways, and I can't, I can't seem to win it. So, um, if anyone, if anybody knows how to and has a strategy, then I guess I could make a wee random episode after this one of me actually winning it. But for the time being, I have no clue how to win it because it's just, I feel like it's just impossible they get more divisions than you the Chinese Republic they get a modifier that gives them plus 15 attack and defense against you um, and they don't suffer from this which let me just unpause the game uh, the Beiyang army minus 20 division organization minus 20 recovery rate minus 35 surrender limit Planning speed and max plan down by minus 25. It's just, oh, it's just awful. And with basically zero war support, you do get some war support. The surrender limit's even further reduced by that. And it's just, oh, I just feel like it's impossible. So if anyone's done it, good on you, because I I have not been able to. So for the sake of uh, continuing on and playing as the Chinese Empire and actually seeing what we can do down the tree and what happens, uh, we're going to just cheat our way through it now yeah I'm not too happy about doing that and I'm sure people will be like oh, really and um, but yeah apologies but I've I've tried so many times I've tried so many times so I might as well show off the other national spurs because um, Chinese Empire really really not doing great in the start really really not they're currently in isolation for their economy uh, law which it's just awful. Um, we have low legitimacy, minus 25 stability, minus 25 low su uh, war support. We have purchase restriction, which is bringing down. The license production hang I, I really don't care of. It's the minus 10 factory output, but luckily we get rid of that right now with uh, restore military production. The boxer protocol, the recruitable population is not terrible. It's the training time and the production efficiency cap, which is the kick in the balls there. Um, we've already discussed this one, that's just awful. This is by far the worst one you have. This one, payments of indemnities, is also killing, killing the industry. And Tong Menhu is that weekly manpower loss of minus 1,500. I mean, 50,000, rather. Uh, not great. And weekly stability loss of 0 0.2 a week. So, yeah, it's a, the Chinese Empire really, really ain't in a good spot. I've tried doing different routes on the focus tree as well to ensure my victory. Like I prioritized doing these factories, I've tried prioritizing fighting against the famine because that that also runs rampant through the flipping revolution. You've got it, you'll lose it, and then before you know it, you've got it back again. I tried using generals that I thought would help me out the best, like um, Duan here being on uh, divisions. Um, Zoo here and then finally Hong. Now the way I was doing it was if I just go ahead and just release you you and you anyways we lose them. Actually Tanu Tabu will actually stay a puppet of us which is great. We don't lose them. Um, I also prioritise just doing uh, the basic infantry equipment because we have a massive deficit of guns so you can't go ahead and change this template to anything better. I tried one attempt binning my whole army and build it back up with the 20 combat with but you don't have enough time to get many divisions out. So what I was doing, as you'll have seen from my failed attempts, the wee little clips I put in. Yes! No German Confederation! Thank you so much, game. <laughs> the German Empire staying. Anyways, um, obviously I was trying to defend Beijing because, well, it's the capital. So 15 divisions, 
there. But of course, Nanjing is worth 20 victory points. Shanghai is worth 10. So there's 30 down here alone in Shanghai. So I was also putting divisions down here. Not like that. Not like that at all. Like this. So I had divisions there. But because of your surrender limit and everything, if you let them push too far up into here, they also capitulate you. So I was trying to find a defensive line over here that would be worth holding as well, which I decided upon here, which required seven divisions to defend that. But we've got eight this time. Um, I also just continued... I tried just focusing on upgrading infantry equipment just to make us a little bit better with that, but just uh, just no hope. There is no hope. Revolution in Mexico. So Germany is isolating the Adriatic Sea. So wow, I don't know what the sec second Bjork Agreement. I don't even know what the first uh, Bjork Agreement was. But to oh ho ho, war with Austria Hungary. Recognize Hungarian sovereignty, suppress Hungarian uprising. We'll see what they get up to. Bohemia integration. Of course, they have to have the be the victor in the Great War to perform that. Uh, Leaves of Central Powers. Restore Burgundy. Danish throw, protect the Low Countries, Line of the North. Yeah, this is. Take Jerusalem. The Holy Or. Oh! Minus 20 division organization, not great, but I guess by um, the time you kind of get to that, you'll have already maybe boosted your division's organization a decent wee bit, so it won't make much of a difference. Um, I guess we could do, we'll do pave the way for industrialization, then we'll probably go ahead and do the, do the advisory council, and also Prince Chen cabinet. Now, the Chinese Republic gets, they get so many decent modifiers. This one's great to begin with for them as well, because it puts up the surrender limit and gives them a little bit of war support. We get 10 war support, which isn't bad, but I would rather have a surrender limit increase, considering ours is already that pathetically bad. Gosh, I think ours, ours right now is sitting at minus 65%. So yeah, that's, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. In fact, it's just it's just awful. Oh, Fez has been occupied by Mor uh, not Morocco, France. Uh, what's the UK doing? Now, I will be coming and playing as the UK sometime soon. But um, at the time of recording, I did announce yesterday, which would have been sa sun Saturday, Saturday. Yes, <laughs> Saturday. Um, that I was going to be changing up my schedule a little bit. So we're going to go drop down from three um, Hoi 4 playthroughs to just two. And only one of them is going to be like the full week. Monday to Friday. The other one's just going to be a Tuesday, Thursday upload. Just I uh, just fancy a wee change of things. Plus, don't I don't want to do what I've done at the start of the year and get exhausted of playing Hearts of Iron 4 again. Because that, that, was, that was a rough patch for me. To actually get myself motivated for uh, making videos. Right, so uh, we are not actually too far away from the Xinhai Revolution firing. Austria Hungary will probably be panicking. Yeah, that, that's a real pain. Gosh. That, that's not good at all. So, Central Powers will be Italy and Germany. Maybe the Ottomans, who right now are not really dealing with any of their, their issues. Well, it probably means they're going to lose to the Italians when they come. Invite Entente Advisors. Investors, rather. So, any factory construction speed plus 45% for near enough a year. It's a bit odd that it's not a year. 350 days. Um, that's, that's pretty good for them. Pretty good. Oh yes, um, I also tried, because you don't make much political power. So once I'd done Protect the Qing Dynasty, 
I saved up enough to grab the Army Defense Specialist, which he didn't really help either. Not really. Not at all, in fact. Just It was useless. Now, on one of my attempts, I did actually manage to produce some more divisions. Uh, I think it was six in total. Sitting them down here, still, still didn't do anything. They just got absolutely destroyed. How are we doing on our good issue? 98 days. It's a Stolpin survives assassination attempt. Okay. Yeah, we basically get to the positive before it kicks off. Ah, here we go. The revolution. Yeah, we're 70 days away. The Mona Lisa has been stolen. How dare they steal the Mona Lisa? Hundred thousand manpower for that. Not, not bad. Right, we've completed the four phases up until the point where I need to get to to do that. So we'll just wait and we'll have the defense guy hopefully before it starts. Not that we're going to do it legitly, anyways. Which again, apologies for, but I want to play as Ching, so we're just going to bypass the hell out of it. Well, actually, we'll see how it goes. We might actually see if we can maybe do it this time. Who knows? This might be the attempt. This might be the attempt. I'm feeling lucky. Put the army defense guy in. Maybe I do have to go army logistics as well, but... There's only so much we can do in the time space. So, ten days. Now, actually, my first ever attempt at trying to win as a Chinese Empire, I just rushed straight into their, um, the province that they spawn in. Ah, uh, the Xinhai Revolution. The Xinhai Revolution or the... Xinhai Revolution was a revolution that overthrew China's last imperial dynasty, the Qing, and established the Republic of China. The revolution was named Xinhai because it occurred in 1911, the year of the Xinhai stem branch in the sexagenary cycle of the Chinese calendar. The revolution consists of many revolts and uprisings. The turning point in the is the Wu Chang Uprising of October 10th, 1911. That was a result of mishandling of the Railway Protection Movement. The revolution ended with the, uh, the abdication of the last Emperor Puyang on uh, February the 12th, 1912. Uh, that marked the end of over 2,000 years of pure China and the beginning of China's Republican era. So, we'll just have a wee look at them straight away. There we go. Look at that. Plus, like I said, they don't have the, uh, the Beiyang army and uh, national spirit so they're they're fine so our surrender limit is currently at 47 percent minus 47 that is and here comes a famine which um there we go that's what that does to us now we will be able to survive past the warner balkans as well probably survive past when it actually finished historically yeah, all this land starts flipping to them, and, um, yep, 30 to 95 divisions. We have 31. Now, we can call Yuan. Yuan, uh, Sikai. So, we'll go ahead and do that. We're caught up on our guns, so what we'll do is we'll start producing troops. See what we can do. Oh, one thing that I have not done this time that I've done uh, the, the last few times was actually bend their military factories. So, he, this guy decides that the best thing to do would just to be to abdicate right now, which, pff, no. No. No way are we doing that. Let's go ahead and protect the Qing Dynasty. So, yeah, okay, great. We're already, we're already losing down here. Oh, I don't know why we've got three divisions there. I would quite happily have... I need that division in here, please. We'll just rush them out ahead of time. Get them over there. And that one as well. If we can get those divisions over there.
Yes, go, 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 go. Ooh, all Russian strike. Now that over a million workers are taking part in strikes, need to stop immediately. What are you doing? What are they doing? So yeah, we're um, kind of out of manpower as well already. So yeah. So now we're not actually doing that bad. All right, we just want to focus on dead focuses right now. We're doing a little bit better in there. The only issue is this is eventually going to bottle it. Or it might even be over here that it gets broken. I just haven't found a successful strategy. This isn't actually doing too bad. As you can see, Tibet and uh, Mongolia have also got their independence from us, but uh, Danu Tabu is still here. Okay, some divisions are lacking equipment already, which is good. I think we still beat them for military factories. They have four, we have eight, so... The only issue is they have... A million manpower, whereas we now currently only have 49,000. Uh, we are able to change up the limited conscription. Wow, the Titanic survived. Fantastic. Yeah, you guys are, you guys are done for in here. Ah, it's just so, uh, it's not in your favor at all. At least this is holding. Okay, watch. Watch how long we don't have famine for. Yep, there we go. Wow. We might as well just have it constantly on. We might be able to hold on long enough. Nope, we've, we've died in here. Yep, there we go. There's the start of the... To the end up in here. If they get close to capitulating us, I'm just gonna, just going to tear them down a peg or two. Yep, now they can attack this guy from so many different directions. Oh, they've broken down here now. Yeah, I just I just find it impossible. Fair enough, their their stability and war support is not great either. They have they, they have between you know they have over three hundred K active. We just over we just have over two hundred K. No, it's a revolution and all, but oof. And I know they'd Republic of China one in real life, but like jeez, give us give us a little bit of a chance. Okay, yeah, we're 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 not gonna we're not gonna be able to turn this around, even if somehow my divisions do manage to actually hold on over here, it's gonna be a miracle. Change up the limited conscription, see what that can do for us. Yeah, there is a gap in the line. They've they've not done anything about it yet. We may have time to deal with that gap. This division can just retreat. Oh no, because that, that is also one. Damn, unless they can't actually push in the Goldmund. Emperor Miji is dead. What now? Desperate defense we can grab. Good. Good, we could do that. Or not, because I'm dead. Right, I've, I've cheated and just deleted all the units, because that, that, that is officially my last attempt for the time being. 
I want to, I want to do Ching, so it's I, I guess it's the only way to do it since I'm that bad. Now I did tag over the the China to see exactly what their situation was. They did have sixty one divisions. They were fifty five percent supplied. They had a deficit of sixteen thousand guns. So I reckon if you can hold on long enough, they will eventually run out of guns. And then they will eventually not be able to do anything. But it's just impossible trying to actually hold on for that length of time for that to happen. It's just, I, I don't know how to do it. Like I said, though, if any of you have ideas on how to or have successfully done it, tell me and I'll make a video, a bonus episode for the playthrough of me actually winning it. Oh, Serbia's bet the Ottomans, the Treaty of London. Now it's time for the Bulgarians to get greedy. And subsequently lose land as a result. Ah, good old Ching. Wow, even just taking the capital down here doesn't really do much to the to them. Then again, they've got Chongqing and Kunming uh, under the control, as well as uh, Yang Zhao, Nanning. They've got they've got some. Big cities there. We'll go ahead and do these fo uh, focuses for the time being. We can't do any of this. We have to fully control them. So um, these these focuses here actually um, reduce the effects of the payments of indemnities. Uh, and then we have the fight against famine, which gives us stability and hopefully we'll stop against famine. That famine uh, national sweat from popping up. There we go. Hopefully we'll stop that. Surprised they haven't got any divisions out. Oh, there we go. The second Balkan War. Silly. Just, just silly. Just wait for the Ottomans to come in. Yep, there they are. And Romania. So basically, the Bulgarian showing us how to lose a piece of land to four folk. Treaty of Bucharest. So, of course, well, I don't think the Ottomans actually got anything. But Greece took Thrace, East Macedonia went to the Serbs, and South Dobrugia has went to Romania. And I think we are close to killing them now. Yeah, just get the Kunming, please. And there's Chongqing uh, going under our control. We've taken over Yang Zhao. And there we go. Republic of China is dead. Well done to me for winning this legitly. <laughs> End of the Xinhai Revolution. Which now means we can start doing the new reforms. And start getting rid of the low legitimacy. And we have to wait till Puyai is 16 years old. Now, I'm going to have to check how many years we're going to have to wait till Puyai actually arrives. But in that time, we'll probably be able to deal with, you know, saying that. We have hyperinflation, army corruption, recovery after revolution. Yeah, we've got some really really bad things there to deal with so yeah we'll see what happens anyways thank you very much for watching guys i know it's not been the greatest of episodes and i do apologize for that but uh, like i said if you do know of a strategy or a way to actually win it legitly then i will make a, another episode anyways thank you very much take care cheer bye for the now